Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning Christy Shaw of Warren County Extension Agent for Family and Consumer Science is going to share some tips about how we can stay healthy. Good morning Christy. Good morning Joanna. So right now many of us are probably hearing um, how we need to be boosting our immune system and what I want to focus on is how we can be supporting our immune system. So what that looks like is for us to be making healthy choices every day and not just at a particular time of the year. We want to be making healthy choices every day so when we do come in contact with infection, our bodies can fight that infection and illness properly. Because food is really nourishment for our bodies. It fuels our body and, and some people say food is medicine and it does supply us with the things that we need to help keep us healthy. It, exactly. So it's nutrition but there's also other things and we've talked about that in the previous weeks but it's um, getting enough sleep, it's physical activity but today we're going to be focusing on the nutrients that we can get from our food and so when we think of supporting our immune system, we typically think of vitamin C. So yes. vitamin C is a nutrient that really helps us fight infection. And so when we think about vitamin C, we typically think of Oranges, orange juice. yep. <laughs> oranges and orange juice, and while those are great sources of vitamin C, there's other things that we probably have in our own refrigerators or pantry. Yeah, because a lot of times we might not be able to get orange juice at the grocery store. They might be out, but there are other foods that we can turn to, right? Yes. So I have a few examples of, of that here today. Mm -hmm. So broccoli, and right now I have fresh broccoli, but a lot of times we might have some frozen broccoli in our freezers. And so this is a great time to really utilize those frozen foods that we have. And are they just as nutritious, Christy? They are, yes. And so we say fresh, frozen, and then canned. But right now, if you are doing fresh, um, frozen, or canned, you are really going to be getting um, great nutrients from any of those sources. And so then we have uh, potatoes. So a baked potato is a great um, serving of vitamin C. And so, a lot of times you don't think of baked potatoes and vitamin C. You don't even match them together. You don't. And so that's why I wanted us to have some visuals um, to remind us that it's not just eating oranges every day. It really is um, having a variety of different fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then bell peppers. Bell peppers, Joanna, are um, a favorite for many. And I normally have a bag of frozen peppers in my freezer. And so it's really important for us to get creative right now um, during this time when many of us are home, many of us are staying away from the grocery stores to really see what we have in our pantries. And so potatoes are going to last for a while in our uh, pantry. And I actually just learned, Joanna, that a healthy helping of cauliflower is even more um, nutrient dense in vitamin C than an orange. So um, <laughs> a lot of people think that that sounds so crazy, but mm -hmm. it's really encouraging to know what we can be fueling our bodies with right now during this time. And you can almost make it a game. You know, you can teach your children, maybe go to the pantry and see what vitamin C or what vitamins different foods have and then be able to prepare that just to make them aware but it's also fun. It is it really is and again if you have canned vegetables this is a great time to really look and, and see what we have and like you said make a game out of it. A soup you can really make any kind of soup out of um, any vegetables that you have on, on hand. Yeah, just getting a little creative. Now, Christy, if they need help, they can contact you for more information, yes. recipes? Yes, contact your local extension office. You can contact me here at the Warren County Extension Office. All right, Christy, we'll appreciate the information and make sure that you are fueling your bodies. If you have questions about immune-boosting foods or nutrition and recipes, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day.